Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use or display suite alerts on your LiveWire projects, and we're going to actually implement that ourselves. Now, there is actually a kind of a package that achieves the same thing called a LiveWire alert, and it uses suite alert too. And I do recommend you guys check it out because it has a lot of features. But on today's episode, I just wanted this to be kind of like a learning experience. I want to show you guys how to do it manually yourself, especially if you want to use a library that doesn't have a package. For example, there is another one called Notify.js and I misspelled it. It's okay. For example, maybe you want to use something like Notify.js that shows this kind of nice looking notifications or alerts, right? Well, there isn't a package for it. So how can you go ahead and do that? So that's the reason I'm making this video so you guys can learn how to do it on your own in case you know you want to use it for any other package. However, for Suite Alert, there is a, you know, package already, which has basically all the features you probably need. So I'll try to cover that on a separate video. So let's get started, guys. So first step is uh, I have this project. It's one of my courses, free courses on my YouTube channel. It's called the Laura Blog Project. You guys can check it out uh, if you just check out my the playlist on my YouTube channel. But basically, I have a like button on this project, as you guys can see. And what I would like to do is show an alert when we like a, a post, right? So right now, when I like it, nothing happens, right? So I think it's nice for us to maybe show some sort of alert. So we're going to use that as an example for today's video. So first step, we need to go ahead and actually add Suite Alert on our application. So I have the Suite Alert website up and running. They do have a CDN, so I'm going to be using that for today's video. So I'll just go ahead and copy the CDN if you're just doing it for testing purposes. Or if you have it already, then you can skip this part. So I'll go ahead and this is my application layout. I have already added it, but I just want to show you guys the steps in case uh, you want to try this on your own. So just add the CDN or, you know, install it through NPM and add it that way. It's up to you guys how you want to do it. So I have added it uh, on my project as well. So the way we are going to do this, guys, is we are going to dispatch an event from our LiveWire PHP component. So this is my LiveWire PHP file. It's called like button. And I have a simple toggle like, which is basically triggered when I click on the button, right? Now, the implementation, I don't think is really important. Basically, uh, we just check if the user is logged in and then if they already have liked it, we unlike it. If not, we like the post, right? Very simple logic. So this part isn't really important. What's important is under it where we show the alert, right? So what we need to do is we need to dispatch a browser event when we like it. And then on our front end side, client side, we need to receive that event. We need to listen for it and then show the alert, right? So these are two parts to it. So one from our PHP and then one from our JavaScript file. So I also have my JavaScript over here, which is my app.js. I'm using Jetstream, so this app.js comes by default. But you can add it on, you know, as an inline script as well or any JavaScript file you have. Okay, so let's go ahead and first do the first part, which is dispatch an event. Now in LiveWare 2, uh, browser events and LiveWare events were separate things. In LiveWare 3, they are basically, they are merged into one. So everything is a browser event, okay? So it's not uh, different concepts. So we're going to say this.dispatch. So this is the new syntax or API in LiveWare 3. Now for the event name, you can name it whatever you like. In this case, I'll just name it alert. It's totally up to you what kind of naming you want to follow. I'll just name it alert to keep it simple. And then after that, we need to pass in some data, which will be used to show the alert, okay? So some common things you want to, may want to pass in, for example, is the message, maybe the color of the alert, things like that. So in this case, I'll go ahead and, and add a type. So uh, we can go ahead and add, use named arguments to pass this in, and then on the front end side, it will be received as a JavaScript object, okay? So in this case, for the type, I'm going to say success. And in Suite Alert, they have like success, error, things like that. So it's going to uh, kind of control the color. So I'll just use name this type. Next up, I say title, which is basically the alert's title. And in this case, I'll just do something simple, post liked. And then last but not least, I also add a position because I would like to control where the alert is shown. So in this case, I do center. Okay, now where did I get these from, guys? I'm trying to kind of mirror the Suite Alert configuration. So if you go on their website, they do have a different types of configuration. There is too many of them. We don't need to actually set all of them. So I'm adding title, which is what is shown. And then icon, I'm naming it, you know, this error success. Instead of icon, I have named it type. So you don't have to follow the exact same name. And I'll show you guys why in a second. 
And then there is also a position. Let me see if I can find it. Let's search for it, position over here, okay? So there is also a position config, which has like top, whatever, it controls where it is shown, right? So if you have use suit alert, you obviously know what this is. So I'm passing these three. If you want anything extra, just add a new named argument and pass it in, okay? Maybe you want to pass in, I don't know, grow, then add grow over here and then pass in one of the possible values, okay? Of course, you can go ahead and use enums as well instead of hard coding it. For now, just keep it super simple. So this is the first step. We are dispatching a browser event from our library component. Next step, we need to receive this event from our JavaScript. So let's open up the JavaScript. And in order to listen for it, we can just do window.add event listener, super simple stuff. The first argument is going to be our event name. So this should be the same name you use over here. So if this is alert, we can just go ahead and do alert over here. And then next up, you need to pass in a function or basically an arrow function, whatever, to, you know, as a callback. Okay, so in this case, I'll just go ahead and use an arrow function. Now, we don't need to receive this uh, event argument. And then inside this uh, function, we can go ahead and handle everything we need. Okay, so for now, I'll just go ahead and do document uh, console.log event so we can actually see what is inside this event object. So let's do that. So I'll go back and I open this up. Let's open up the terminal or the developer tool. So I'll open up the terminal, guys. And let's actually try and like a post and see what happens, okay? So in this case, I'll click on this one, okay? And as you guys can see, we get this event, custom event object printed out in the terminal, okay? So it has a bunch of different stuff we don't really need. What we really need we really need care about is this detail property over here okay and as you can see it has the type title and position the stuff we needed okay so we need to go ahead and get this detail variable okay so let's go ahead and do that i'll go on our javascript file i say let's say data equals to event dot detail you don't have to store it in a separate variable i'm just doing it for simplicity so that's all we have to do and as you guys can see uh, by default it was already in a nice looking javascript object okay now it's not displaying it because I already let's do console dot log data. Okay. So it will automatically reload for me. Let's try again. And as you can see, we get a nice looking object with position, title, and type, right? So we can easily go ahead and use that. So once we have done that, we need to go ahead and actually display the alert. Okay. So with suite alert uh under your documentation, they do have a bunch of examples. If I scroll up. It's very easy to display an alert. So I'll just copy one of the examples. Let's copy a custom position dialog. I'll just copy it from here and I'll paste it over here. So the syntax is very simple. We do sval or swal dot fire and then we can pass in the configuration. Okay. Now by default, obviously it's hard coded. Instead of hard coding it, we are going to use the data pass from our library component. So in this case, for the position, we can say data dot position. For the icon, I say data dot type. Of course, we could have named this icon as well. I just wanted to show you guys that the names don't have to match. It's up to you. For the title, we can say a data.title. Now, with suit alert, it also has the option to have confirmation, things like that, buttons. So I'm not going to be covering that on today's video. If you want that, guys, you probably want to go ahead and check the package I showed you guys, which is a live wire alert. All right, so it's a package. It's probably better off if you use this package because it does have you know the option to listen for buttons and things like that so we're not going to be covering that so in this case i'm just going to say disable the button and then it has a timer as well for 1500 milliseconds now if you want to customize the timer you can pass it in as an argument here so in this case i'm going to say time or timer is equal to 1500 okay so it's this easy to add additional configuration from the back end side so in this case i'll just go ahead and say data dot timer so that's it let me add the semicolon that's all we have to do. I'm going to comment this log. So this is the process on our front end side, and this is the code for our back end. So let's save this. Let's go back. I'll reload. I think it automatically reloads for me. So let's go ahead and try. I'm going to unlike these guys first. And now let's try to like them. So I'm going to like this one. As you can see, we get a nice looking alert. Uh, I'll try the second one as well. And as you can see, guys, it is now working. So this is how you can go ahead and show alerts using suit alert in a live wire. Now, I'm also going to add that for when we unlike it. So this is the code where we unlike a post. So I'll just add it over here. And instead of post liked, I'm going to say post, I guess, unliked. And then for success, we can go ahead and use 
error, okay? So that's all we have to do. So because it is customizable, we just we can go ahead and just change a few of these configurations. So let's save this. Let's go back. And I'm going to unlike this guy. And as you guys can see, we get post unlike. And this looks very ugly. Let's remove the space. And as you can see, guys, we can also show it when we unlike it. So this is the simplest way you can show alerts on your application. You can use it with Suite Alert. You can use it with Notify.js or any other JavaScript library. And that's the process, guys. Dispatch an event from your backend and then listen for that event on your front end and display whatever you want to show. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and learned something new. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.